In this video, I will show you how to go inside another page on your application. First of all, we will need to start by creating a new page. You can go inside your Explorer and write in uh, under lib, we can create new file. So in this one, we will say by example, second page dot dart. You need to press dot dart at the end to tell Visual Studio that this is a Dart file and to use with Flutter. Good. After that, inside this one, we will start by importing the material. So the package Flutter material dot Dart. This is, if you remember, all the widget available with Flutter. Okay, good. Then what we will do is create the state less widget. So let's take this one stateless widget. So if I press on it, we will have the stateless widget. Then what we can do is call the name of this class and it will be the same name of the file name. So it will be second, but it's not necessary, but it's uh, the best way to do it. So you will name it second page. We can remove the key and then uh, inside the container, if you keep the key, nothing will happen. The key is just for advanced uh, Flutter coding. After we can replace the container with a scaffold like this, and then we can put an app bar argument inside and an app bar widget inside. That's good. Then we can add the title argument and a text widget. Perfect. In this one, we use the quotation mark and we say second page. That's good. We can format document. So I press the keyboard shortcut, but you can do it right here with right click and format document. Okay. So we have created our second page. Now what we need to do is uh, to add a route name for this page. So right after the state less widget right here, and before the override, we will say static and we write static because we want to access this variable from another page. So we write statics, we say const for constant, and it will always be the same name. And then we say route, the route name, by example, and we will say equal to, we can write the, the name as we want, but I will say second page because I like to write the route name, the same name of the file name. And then we put the semicolon. So now we have a route name that we can access from everywhere. Next step, we will need to go inside the uh, main. And in this main, we have our material app. After this one, or after the bottom navigation bar right here. So in the scaffold, so after the scaffold, I mean, we can add an argument called the route. Oops, route. So we take this one. And what is the route? So the route take a map of string and widget. Okay, let's do that. To create a map, we call the curly bracket. And then inside, we will write, as you can see, a string. And the string we just have created inside the second page, and it's called route name. But how are we going to find the, the value? So the second page, how are we going to call it from the main page? Okay, we go on the top and then we can import the second page like that. So now just by writing second page, we are importing all the information from this one. And if we go down, now we can say, and the class of the other page is called second page. And then you can say dot to go call the route name. Because if you remember, we are inside the class second page. And when we say dot, we can call the statics route name. Here we go. So we have called this one. We have the first part, the string. Now we need the widget part. Let's do this. We will separate with the two point like that. And then we will say, second page and we will uh, call the page. So by putting this, we are calling this page, 
But now Flutter say, okay, you need something else. And this something else is uh, a call function. So we will call our class like that. We put a function like that, and then we could return inside, but instead we will use the simple version. And we just put the arrow like this and a bar on the bottom like that. So this is an empty function that will call the second page. And if you go inside the second page, you will call everything like this. So you will call the build with the scaffold. Okay, so now we have created our route and we can access it, access it. But we need to tell Flutter, okay, I want to access it when I press on a certain button. We will go on the main page, so we are already inside this one. Now what we will do is we will need to tell Flutter, okay, we want to navigate through the other page. Okay, first of all, because the route is on the same level of this scaffold, right inside the material app, we will need to create another stateful widget. Let's do this. So we have our stateful widget right here in this one, this class terminate right here. So what we will do, we'll do a stateful widget. So this one, we will call this one my, my uh, scaffold app like this. We will remove the key once again. And then right here in the container, we will put the scaffold that we had on the other class. So we will take all this scaffold. So you can press on the bracket and you will see where this bracket end right here. So we will take this one until the scaffold. We will cut it with control X. And then we will say instead my scaffold app. So this one returned to the new class that we have created, my scaffold app. And this one will build our scaffold because I just paste it inside. Okay. What we'll need to do is take the uh, variable that we have created in the previous one. So we will go up, found those two variable, cut them with control X. I will remove the space right here. I will go back down. We'll remove the space, continue and write over the override of the build, this one we will paste back our variable. Okay, so now we have just separate the scaffold from the material app. And now we can use the navigator to navigate through our page. And it is the last step. Okay, so what we will do is inside the raise it button right here, instead of the button, this is true, that changed to hello, we will remove the set state. We will write instead navigator dot off context, so off like this, and it will write context for you. And then you say dot push name it, this one, because we have the name of the route, this name, route name. And if you remember, the route name in the second page is this one. So the second page dot route name. And we have added right, uh, if we go up on the material app, we have added right here the second page. So it is the same one. So we will write this one, second page dot route name. And we put our semicolon at the end. And right now, if we out reload, so if we restart the app, when we will press on this button, we will go through the second page. So this is very nice. We have created a button. So a trigger for a button to navigate through a different page of our application. So that's it for this video and see you on the next one. Bye.